So you're tempted to use an unlock all tool on Warzone or a Call of Duty game to get to the camos you've missed out on and maybe some weapons that are just too much of a pain to unlock. Well in this video I'm covering what unlock all tools are, whether they work, and whether they are safe to use for both your systems and your Call of Duty account. I did make a video on this previously, and whilst many of the things in there are still relevant, there has been some updates and there are a few things that I'd like to add. And I should emphasise before we get into it that I'm not trying to sell you any Warzone Unlock tools or VPNs or anything like that. Okay, so what is a Warzone Unlock All tool? Well put simply, they are downloadable softwares which claim to be able to unlock all of the camos, weapons and skins on Warzone and other Call of Duty games, which obviously makes them very desirable. You install them onto your device and you can manipulate the game from there. And the truth is, some of them do work. Obviously there are some that are better than others, and there are seemingly hundreds of different providers. Some of them are free, and others you have to pay for. But there's no doubting that some unlock all tools for Warzone do work, and you've probably bumped into people with insane camos that shouldn't be possible on certain weapons. Or even weapons and skins that aren't even out yet. Well if you have, they definitely have an unlock tool in use. But it's highly unlikely that they can get away with that for long. Which brings us on to the next point. Are the Warzone unlock tools safe? And by safe, I mean are they safe from the Call of Duty lore and for your system? And that answer is a huge no. The unlock all tools may work for a little bit, but the chance of a ban is huge and it's only getting bigger. This is the case to such an extent that many advise not to use them in public matches, which defeats the object of using them really. Although I'm guessing this is because people will report you, so if you used an unlock all tool on something that everyone has and isn't too obvious, it could be okay. Unless the ricochet anti-cheat picks you up. Which is said to get a new iteration at the start of Modern Warfare 2 and Warzone 2, and has already been a dramatic improvement to Warzone, with a dedicated team working on it, creating newer versions to keep up to date with the hackers. Some unlock all tools and hackers try and use something to avoid the hardware identification part of the ricochet anti-cheat, and this is by using spoofers, which essentially tries to to hide your hardware from Call of Duty. This has been shown to be working less and less as Ricochet learns. I did think that you could probably use an unlock all tool on Warzone to unlock maybe a single weapon that's already released and people wouldn't notice. And maybe the same with a skin, with the fact that so many of these providers say that if you get a ban, then it's not their fault leads me to think that they're not confident in their product, so that's already a bad sign. Some simply suggest that you can make a new account and use the unlock all tool on there. But one of the reasons so many people like Call of Duty is that they can track their progress for challenges and leaderboard stats. Obviously if you're making numerous accounts, you can't really do that. On top of that, Warzone 2 is said to require a mobile number to authenticate your account, so you won't be able to make loads of disposable accounts. So some of these unlock all tools do work, however the chance of a ban is getting greater and greater. On top of that, you're downloading something onto your system and you have no idea if it can be malicious, so there's a risk there too. And finally, you've got to ask, is it really worth the risk? Potentially getting completely banned for some camos, skins and weapons feels insane. Some of the fun bits for camos and weapons at least is to get the reward of unlocking them, not just immediately get them all. The weapons are a little tricky and you'll have to let me know what you think. It's great having challenges to unlock them because it adds an extra element and something to aim for when playing Warzone, but if you only have Warzone, some of the challenges are so difficult or time consuming. So if that weapon you're trying to unlock becomes the meta, it can feel super frustrating trying to unlock it. That being said, I do think the weapon challenges have become a lot easier recently. And then with the operators and skins, I do get it a little bit. You don't want to pay insane amounts to have all the different skins and operators, but they are just purely aesthetic. So again, getting banned for shiny things like that seems kind of mad. The biggest worries for anyone thinking of using a Warzone Unlock All tool is that one, they could get permanently banned at the IP level, 
so they can't play on new accounts either. They're just completely banned across all Call of Duty titles, both now and in the future. And then two, the software they're downloading could contain viruses or spyware, because let's be honest, they have no idea where this software is coming from. Hopefully you now feel more informed, and if you are looking to get ahead and max rank your weapons without the threat of getting banned, check out this video.